You see that? I just felt like doing that for a second. <laughs> Listen, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. And of course, this is one of our best segments ever. I'm joined with our good friend, Danielle Canada, the editor, <laughs> uh, associate editor of Boss Up. And yes. she's here today to spill all the tea, honey, and give us the good scoop in Hollywood. Amen. And Atlanta. To, yes, that's what I'm here for. What is happening? I, I, I got a lot on the list. We got to really get through this list yes. today. But Drake has just really been in the headlines. It's oh, like Drake oh, and Pusha Drake, T. Drake, and Drake, now Drake. Drake is with the erotic model. Yeah, so Drake has a lot going on. You know, he is the Pusha T taunted rapper. <laughs> he was spotted out in Toronto with this new model named Zamina. Uh -huh. She is an urban model. Okay. She's also an exotic dancer. Who what's admits, that urban model? What, well, that, you know, that's like the, the booty model. The booty models. You oh. know, like King, if we still had King Magazine, like the King Magazine oh, model. Okay. That, that is her. Okay, um, the urban model. She is a woman who admits to having some work done, mm -hmm. but Drake obviously likes it. Of um, before she was with Drake, she actually used to own a cafe in New York. Oh, excellent. So she, she is so an she's entrepreneur. Smart. She she's, is. Yeah. Um, but like Drake's alleged baby mama, Sophie Brousseau, she also has a past in adult entertainment. Which is fine, which is her business, but people are wondering if Drake kind of has a type now. Is that the type? Is that the, the type? The prerequisite, you must be in adult movies. Adult movies, adult entertainment. She, you know, she is proud of her body. She actually used to work at the same strip club as Cardi B mm -hmm. before it closed down. So mm -hmm. she is, um, she is a whole lot of lady and Drake likes it. All right. One time for Drake then. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Uh, I hear there is possibly a love and hip hop spinoff in yes, London. Yes. Yes. There really? are rumors swirling. So there are rumors swirling that there's a Love & Hip Hop London on the way. The Jasmine brand actually broke this. Well, she breaks said, a lot of stories. She does. She does a great job. She said that the cast is over in London right now. This is the cast of Love & Hip Hop, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. So Tierra Marie, Bridget Kelly, uh, Brooke Valentine, they're over there. Wow. And they're reportedly meeting the cast in London. No word yet on who is on the cast, but there's speculation. People are wondering if rapper Skepta could be on there. Mm. Now, he is known for allegedly <clears throat> having some ties to Naomi Campbell. He says they're great friends. Mm. So he would be great to have on the cast. Uh, rapper Giggs, who was working with Drake, could possibly be on the cast. So we don't know yet, but I would all the way watch Love & Hip Hop. Yeah, London. I think so. I think it's going to give us a different take. And, yes. you know, it's taking people abroad. How yeah, about that? Taking people that? abroad, overseas. Yes. How yes. about that? So this biting story with uh, Tiffany Haddish and Beyonce, <gasps> will the people ever live it down? No. Somebody, well, who got bit? No. no. What, what, what's it's, happening? It's not going away. It's not going away. Tiffany Haddish was on the cover of The Hollywood Reporter, and inside she once again spoke on the story yeah. about the Beyonce bite rumor. Of course, she said that she saw someone bite Beyonce say on the cheek that someone was confirmed by other people to be Sanai Lathan. Sanai Lathan is still saying it's not her, but her family was very upset with Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany told The Hollywood Reporter that they told her she tried to ruin her career. They asked her why she didn't want to stick with her fellow black actress. But Tiffany said, you know what? I just wanted to tell a funny story about Beyonce keeping me out of jail. I never said it was Sanai, but everyone else confirmed it for her. Well, listen, Sanai is uh, very talented. She We've is. seen her over the years. And she's and sweet. She, I mean, I She's amazing. Mm -hmm. So she's probably not going to ruin right. her career with this. Mm -hmm. But let's just lay it to rest. I'm so tired of hearing about I feel about like we've talked about this like 10 times already. We, we always talk about this, Quad. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of over it. No, no yeah. more biting. No mm -hmm. more biting. All right, so let's move on. Let's talk a little bit about Kylie Jenner. Now, yes. I hear, we, we know that they love Instagram. They love yes. social media. Mm -hmm. They're all for the paparazzi. But now she's having a change of heart. She is. So Kylie Jenner is keeping her baby, Stormy Webster, under wraps. She has actually decided not to post her anymore on Instagram. If you follow her on Instagram, you can see that she deleted all of her pictures. Mm. The only ones that are left show only a little bit of Stormy's face. Mm -hmm. And she said this basically because she just wants more privacy. She's gotten terrible comments from online trolls. There are even reports that she got some kidnapping threats what? from people. People are really crazy. So she said, I'm just going to keep my baby off of social media. Now, mind you, while Kylie is doing this, her sister, Chloe, who had a baby shortly after her, True Thompson, mm -hmm. she's continuing to post her baby girl. So I guess... So no one's threatening her to no kidnap her No one's threatening her. I guess but she doesn't have baby. Issue. Yes. Uh, apparently, something <laughs> is up. <laughs> the and Kylie baby. is getting uh, the brunt of the comments, so... My God, my God. Well, listen, stay tuned. We have so much more. We're going to find out what's going on with Kim Zodiac and her castmates. There's something about a new song. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. <laughs> We're back on Sister Circle Live with associate editor of Vasa, my good girlfriend, Danielle Canada. <laughs> and what are you 
you always come down here with the dirt. Girl. Yeah, girl. You just come with it in your purse. It's in your shoes. It's, it's in it's, there. I, I take it out. I unfold it, and then I bring it to you. I like I, it. I like, I like to like serve the presentation. You. How about that? <laughs> but let's talk a little bit about Kim's all day, honey. Kim girl. cannot stay out of the tabloids. Oh. What is happening now with this new song that oh, she has? Oh, Kim. Oh, Kim. So Kim Zolciak, she is the ex-housewife. She's a star of Don't Be Tardy on Bravo. She has a new song. It is called Wig. This well, what's is, wrong with the wig? Uh, I like the wig. I'm wearing you, you a very like, nice wig. You're today. wearing it. Do you like her wigs? You know, Nene Leek says she has Party City wigs. I like my wig. Okay, I don't like hers. <laughs> but uh, Kim Zosiak has a new single called Wig. This is her second single after Don't Be Party back in 2009. Uh -huh. So with this one, it's a very basic song. The chorus is just... The first one went basic? It was basic. It's more basic, though. It's oh. another level. Okay. This one is like, my wig, my wig, my wig, my wig, yeah. That's the chorus. Okay. That's the whole chorus. So Portia Williams and rumored new housewife Eva Marcel, they talked about it on Dish Nation. Um, <laughs> they were a little shady, but they were kind of nice about it. They were like, well, this is a way to make something uh, nice out of a kind of dig that NeNe always mm -hmm. sends toward her. You know, NeNe calls her wig. Mm -hmm. So she was like, you know, well, you know, this is a nice way to make something out of that. But also they said that Portia's single was a little better. If you remember, she had Flatline, and they said that Portia can actually sing. Yeah, and it was very nice. But she I wonder, nice do those little singles, like Kim Soze X singles, do they really sell? I feel like there's an audience for it. Somebody buys it. Well, not simplicity not is key. Yes. How about that? Yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Pete and Ariana Grande, honey. Girl. Listen, Pete Davis went out and spent 100000 Yes, so Ariana Grande is engaged now, mm -hmm. and this is after just a few weeks of dating Pete Davidson. He is on SNL. He is absolutely smitten kitten with Ariana. Yes, he is. He spent reportedly $93,000 on an engagement ring for her, and this is after they started dating in May. She broke up with wow. Mac Miller in early May, and then she went to Pete Davidson. He went and actually got two tattoos dedicated to her, one of her initials, one from her Dangerous Woman video, mm -hmm. and then he went and designed an engagement ring for her, and now they're getting married. Well, I just gotta tell you, Ariana Grande says 99 problems, but a man ain't one. <laughs> it's not one. She, she <laughs> has all the secrets. She got the juice, honey. She got the juice. All the juice. Um, I gotta learn something. I wanna ask you. What was that? What's that? The people say that Bossip is coming back on WeTV. <laughs> Give me some tea. Yes, yeah, yeah. so uh, Bossip on WeTV is coming back on in August. So yes. we're coming back Thursdays in August. Um, we have some new faces. We've got right. a new location. It's going to be very exciting. But you're still going to have time to spend it with us, right? I'm going to be around. I, you know, I love y'all. So all I'm right, going to be back. We love you too. Listen, for more <laughs> and getting all of the scoop on what's going on in Hollywood and also um, anywhere that's in social media, you can also check out uh, Danielle Canada on bossup.com and the conversations continue on social sistercircletv.com. Let's get that out of there.